have a feeling that Adam's gonna be a little perturbed by how much he has to unload. Hey y'all, it's Erica. Welcome back to my channel and thanks so much for watching. Today we're gonna be doing a Costco haul. I just pulled up, I got a spot close to the entrance, so I hope that's a good sign that it won't be super busy. It is afternoon right now, it's a Saturday in Houston, and I always joke that I like to get all of my errands done before Saturday, because that's basically when before Saturday at noon, because that's basically when everybody else gets out on the road and it gets really traffic -y and there's people everywhere and it can just be a little bit more frustrating. I have a very long list. It's been months since I've done a Costco haul. So I'm really excited to stock up on all the things that I need and see what else new maybe at the store. So I hope you guys will hit that thumbs up button for a Costco haul and go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you guys can stay notified when I post new content. And let's see if we can tackle this list. So much. $534. My largest Costco haul ever. back at the house now and that was a lot it took me a long time to get everything loaded into the car and they didn't give me any boxes when I was there so we had to use like laundry baskets to bring everything inside um, in total it was $534 which is by far my largest Costco haul ever I think my next closest one is probably like 375 or something I have not been in so long and so I needed so many different things and I found some fun stuff I wanted to get but in general, a lot of the things I got, I have gotten before or I've had the product before. So I'm not expecting a lot of like new taste tries, test tries, test test runs on food at all. Like I, I've had the things before. So hopefully I got some good deals and maybe give you some ideas of things you can get at Costco when you go next time. So I'm going to jump into it real quick and see if we can get it knocked out because it's a lot of stuff. All right. So it is so much stuff that I have stuff over here and stuff on the countertop over there. We're gonna start here since this is just so quick. Uh, paper towels, like usual, the Kleenex. These are my favorite napkins. They are the lunch size and they're perfect. They were on sale today, $2 off. Coconut water, we've been missing having this. Uh, Waterloo, I got four of these, the limit was 10. I got two of the ones of strawberry, lemon, lime, and black cherry, and two with, what is this, grape, cranberry and blueberry the cranberry is a new one so i got all of those they were six bucks each and just for reference when i buy 12 cans of um like when i buy a case or 12 cans at the grocery store it is six dollars for that so this is basically a 50 percent savings on this we drink probably two sparkling waters a day adam has one i have one so this will last us a couple months but then we'll have to go back and grab more because it is such a savings like it's astronomical i grabbed some of these izzy sparkling juices i got these last time and i didn't really like them uh sparkling mango sparkling blackberry clementine and apple really good they are basically just juice of some sparkling water so it's 70 percent juice which i mean obviously it's all sugar but it's just like a sweet treat and they last a long time so he'll have one maybe every three or four days okay the stuff over here is not organized in any form or fashion at all. So I'm just gonna run you through what I got and it's gonna be out of order, but that's okay. So 
couple sharp cheddar cheeses. I calculated the price when I was there and it is actually cheaper to buy the cheese at Costco than it is to buy it at HEB. So I went ahead and grabbed some of these. Goat cheese, I love this, it's a great deal. Also cheaper than HEB. Uh, Kerrygold's, if I'm in the store and I'm uncertain about if it's gonna be cheaper than HEB or not, I will just open the HEB.com app, which is where I shop most of the time, and just type it in. The prices on the app on HEB's website or app are a little bit inflated because they add an extra cost for them actually picking the items off the shelf, etc but you get a close estimate. So if the price at Costco is still beating the price on the app, then you know it's a great deal. Kerrygold, I got two of these. Again, cheaper at, much cheaper at Costco than HEB. And then the, I got the unsalted kind. And then Costco has actually made their own 95% grass-fed butter. So it is grass-fed product New Zealand salted. So this one was a... Um, I think these were $11.99 and this was $9.99. But this is salted. They did not have an unsalted version, unfortunately. And so I thought, you know what? We will just try it and compare it to Kerrygold and maybe decide if we want to go ahead and start buying this instead. I may buy one pack of this and one pack of this, but I really prefer unsalted. So hopefully Costco will start making an unsalted version soon. Um, a couple spices. I got some ground Himalayan pink salt. This is what I use every day when I'm cooking. So you keep a big container of this in the back and then I refill this guy right here with salt and it stays over here all the time. And Adam just went through the spice cabinet and told me that we needed more. So I grabbed more of that. Ground black pepper. Again, I use this all the time. So this is the one that I keep in the house. And so I went ahead and bought some more of that. Uh, granulated garlic. I haven't tried this from Costco, so I hope it's good. I really like prefer one of the brands that I get from HEB, but um, we'll see. Um, let's see. I got some avocado cooking spray. This is kind of expensive to buy, but Adam uses like this grill spray every time he grills, and I feel like it's canola oil or just like really bad, so I was hoping that this would be a, a better alternative for us to use when he grills. So we will not use this all the time, only when Adam's going to go head out to the grill, he will spray the grill down with this first. Some raw organic honey. I love to get this little three pack here. It's a great deal. They did have another one next to it today, wildflower honey, and it was a little bit cheaper, but this is organic and the other one wasn't, so I went with the organic one. I got some deodorant for Adam, like I said, no rhyme or reason for all this stuff, how it's lined out. Um, so this is actually an antiperspirant, and I was standing there in the store thinking like, oh, this is a great deal, I calculated the price. He uses Degree, not the scent. But then I got them home, and he was like, oh, you got me deodorant. And then I was like, yeah, it's just an antiperspirant. And I was like, oh, wait, Ugh, that's not the kind you like. He just likes to get the regular deodorant. He says it's okay, he'll use it anyways, and then we'll go back to the regular one that he likes. Um, Primal Kitchen Caesar, this stuff is so good. And it was like $3.99 for two of these, which is like so incredibly cheap compared to like if you bought it even like on Thrive Market. This stuff can get really expensive. They are in a plastic bottle, which is different for this brand, but I think that that's how they made it cheaper for Costco. I still have one from the last time I went, but we really, really liked it. So I went ahead and grabbed more since it was such a great price point. I got our regular Tasso's garlic and jalapeno stuffed olives. And then on the same brand, I saw this new item they had there, Papandoro peppers stuffed with cream cheese and jalapeno, Papandoro. I don't know how to say that, but they look really good. It says sweet and mild. And Adam likes stuff like this, so I grabbed these and thought they'd be a fun little treat for him. So we like to keep these things in the house. Um, omeprazole, this is like the over-the-counter compared to Prilosec. Adam struggles with acid reflux, so I picked him up some of these since it was so inexpensive and I thought it might help him. Spaghetti squash, I don't normally buy a lot of produce from Costco, but these were actually $4.99 for the two of them, which is crazy because if I went to HEB right now, it would cost me like $5 for one. Again, 50% savings, I love that. Um, avocado oil mayonnaise, I've been missing this. It's only $8.99, I think, at Costco. But if you go to HEB and try to buy this, it's a smaller container and it's like seven or eight bucks. And so I grabbed two of them because I wanted to make sure that I didn't have to run out of it. I do sometimes make my own um, mayo, but I just kind of prefer to have like pre-made stuff as well, just in case I don't feel like making my own. Like right now we're out of this mayonnaise, so I went ahead and made my own mayonnaise as well. Okay, artichoke hearts. These are the ones we love. You know I will save the oil and then use them for my marinated chicken. I have a whole video on how exactly I do that. I will link that up above here for you now. But I love to use these, they're so good. And then I save the oil and use it for a marinade. This is one I haven't tried. 
tiki masala sauce. It's organic, so I thought that was good. The ingredients seem pretty clean. Um, it's all really long because they say organic in front of every ingredient. There is a little bit of sugar in here, two grams of added sugar. But I thought it sounded yummy, and there's instructions for how to like actually make it on the back, a 10-minute tiki um, or tika. 10 minute tikka and so i'm gonna go ahead and try this it was 4.99 for these two jars i thought it'd be something different for us to try mateo's you know it we love it it's the best price 5.99 for this at costco you cannot beat this price anywhere else for this size it's delicious this is the jar we keep in <laughs> our fridge all the time and i think i need a larger fridge literally because i keep this jar in the fridge i keep one of these in the fridge i keep one of these in the fridge i keep one of these in the fridge like this is why my fridge is always so overloaded because of like my costco sized jars feta i have not gotten this one before but i have been looking for some feta that was actually in water and this one is you can hear it so i wanted to try something a little bit different um i know that i've seen some um instagram gals who do this and put this on like with eggs on like their toast in the morning it looks delicious but i just wanted to try something different bacon thick cut bacon hickory smoked this is the best deal it's about 445 i think per pound which is probably about the same price as heb but um man prices at heb have been going up recently so this is still a pretty consistent price so i thought i would snag it and just drop this in the freezer even though i do still have bacon i wanted to make sure i had enough eggs this is the best price anywhere i believe it's 7.99 it's 6.99 or 7.99 but anywho it doesn't matter so much cheaper it, if i get 18 eggs pasture raised at heb it cost me 6.99 so for this to be just 50 cents to a dollar more and i get 24 such a great deal i grabbed two of them i did reach into the back to make sure that i got some that expired later these expire on november 7th i don't know if you can read that it's so tiny but um they expire on november 7th and some of the other ones expired like november 2nd i know it was only a few days but i thought i should just go for it kiwis adam has been asking me for kiwis so i bought some kiwis for him these were expensive though they were eight dollars for all of these so i'm hoping that he will eat through them and if not i'll probably start putting them in some of my smoothies i got some rice cauliflower this is another thing that i have a whole video on how to make your own rice cauliflower so you don't have to buy it at costco this was only seven bucks so it's got four 16 ounce steamer bags in here which i think is pretty good um, for seven bucks i mean for the effort you put into it it can be kind of difficult to make your own but if you want to make your own you don't want to buy it i have a video i will link it up here for you as well okay this is something that i just actually i'm going to go around this side and kind of turn some things around for you okay so these are the ultimate fish sticks wild caught alaskan pollock um they look delicious and like panko breading made from whole fillets looks so good i don't know if you guys like love fish sticks as a kid but i certainly did and the way that this looks like looks like it will be even better do you think fish sticks you like fish sticks rebel <laughs> yeah um i think these are gonna be really good so i'm excited to try these i got also some wild caught alaskan cod I looked at the salmon there, but I didn't really feel like the salmon had like all that great of prices. Like I felt like I could just find something fresh at HEB for a better price. So I tried to just get a few things that I thought were gonna be a good deal. So this is boneless, skinless, hand trimmed, Alaskan, um, not Alaskan, Atlantic cod, wild caught. I got the broccoli that we love. Adam and I were running through a list in our head earlier today thinking like, okay, what should we get? Because we know we haven't been in a while. What are the things we're missing? Broccoli is one of them. Again, this breaks down into four one pound bags, just like the cauliflower. And it is so good. You can like steam it directly in the bag or you can dump it out and cook it however you want to. I will use it for casseroles. I will just steam it in the bag, dump it in a bowl, add some butter or ghee to it and some seasoning. Done, super simple, easy side that is delicious. Okay chicken so if you guys are wondering chicken is cheaper at costco <laughs> i think i mentioned this earlier but i have been tracking prices of chicken on my phone and so you can see right there <laughs> organic chicken prices i track trader joe's heb whole foods and costco and overall costco was cheaper but not by a whole lot so for chicken thighs costco was 4.99 a pound 
the cheapest the next cheapest price i found was at trader joe's for 5.69 so i grabbed two of these big containers of them i'm gonna go ahead and cut these down the lines here and then put these in the freezer the organic chicken is great they did not have the wings today and i was really kind of bummed about that because i would have grabbed two packages of those too because we love to do wings but i think there's like an overall wings shortage going on right now not really certain um I went ahead and checked the other prices though. So I got two whole chickens that are also organic. And these were $2.29 a pound for this. The next cheapest price for whole chicken was Whole Foods is $2.99 and Trader Joe's is $2.99. So Trader Joe's again is a very close second on the price. So I could probably go to Trader Joe's if I run out of other chicken and need to get it in a pinch. But I love to stock up on this and keep this in my fridge because I know it's such a great deal now. Okay, um, oh, also chicken breasts, just so you know, chicken breasts are $5.49 a pound at Costco. This is in Houston, Texas. It could be different for you guys elsewhere. And the cheapest, the next cheapest price I found was also Trader Joe's at $6.49 a pound. So this is me just looking at organic chicken, not conventional chicken. Okay, I got some Peruvian sweet onions. These are $6 for this whole bag which is such a great price because sweet onions can be pretty expensive, like several dollars a pound. So I will stock those in my little organizer over there. Some salami, I got this for Adam. This was a little bit of a splurge, it was $11.99, but it's got three different types of salami in here. So I thought he would like to enjoy that maybe today during game day. It's got Italian dry, so presto, and then peppered salami. So I think he will love that. Um, I did get one thing that I don't normally buy, Hidden Valley Ranch. Adam loves ranch dressing, and I honestly have not just found, like, such a great one to buy. So I've been buying the H-E-B brand, which is just as bad with, like, canola oil or soybean oil or whatever. This was so much cheaper buying it as a bundle than it was to buy the H-E-B value size. So I thought I would just grab this because it was cheaper until we can find a better ranch that is not like so expensive with how much ranch he goes through like if you guys know of any good ranch brands that are like good for you with good clean oils but not super expensive please 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 drop them in the description or the comment box below because i would love to hear of a better brand than hidden valley that's okay though we're gonna move forward to life it'll be just fine Okay, I got some ghee. They did not have the ghee that I had gotten before. That was such a great deal. It was like $24 for a huge container. This was 20 though, and I feel like it was a good deal for the two pack. It's not nearly as much as the other one was, but compared to what I'd have to pay for a container like this at HEB, it'd probably be 15 or 20 bucks just for one container like this at HEB. For the two of them, it was 20 bucks. I got some coconut oil. I was running low on that, so I went ahead and grabbed a big thing. I keep my coconut oils and all my oils next to the stove, like in this back um, cabinet. And then I put them, like put some, put them into another like mason jar and keep them closer by. So I don't scoop out of this all the time. I scoop a whole bunch into like a 16 ounce mason jar. And then I scoop from there and then I just kind of store that in the back so that it stays like not contaminated. Okay, I got some Bertoli organic marinara. Olive oil, basil and garlic. I don't normally buy this at um, Costco. I normally just buy it at H-E-B. But this was actually a good price. I think it was like eight or nine bucks for four of these, which is pretty cheap. Because I will pay two, $2.50 to $3, I think, per organic one at H-E-B. So I felt like for eight or nine bucks for four of them, that's about the same price. a little bit cheaper. But um, I thought it was a good deal. It only has one gram of added sugar in here, which I think is pretty good. Um, not super, not super sugary. I like to normally see zero grams of added sugar, but for convenience, this works. I got some mushrooms. This is like one of the other only produce items I got. The kiwis, the onions, the squash, and the mushrooms. These were $5.99 for 24 ounces, and organic mushrooms at H-E-B right now are running $5.78 for one pound. So this is a pound and a half. For just a few cents more so i went ahead and grabbed this i do have a problem sometimes with the ones from costco going bad quicker so i'm going to see if i can take these out of the package and maybe put them into a different container to see if they just need to get some fresh air and maybe they'll stay better for longer um, and not get slimy because i've had problems with them from costco getting slimier faster than the ones that i buy from heb we will try it though we'll risk it for the mushrooms for that great price all right i got some of these siete grain free tortilla chips i looked at these at um oh hello <laughs> did you hear me whistle did you want something 
Rebel dog's just always around near the chicken. You're funny. I was checking these out at HEB because I'm trying to get away from eating any sort of um, chips or pantry items that have terrible oils in them. This has avocado oil in here though, which is great. Like the ingredients are so simple on here. But if you look at basically any other tortilla chip, they're using soybean oil, canola oil, some sort of hydrogenated oil. But these are so expensive. These were actually $3.99 on sale today. They were normally $5.99, but with $2 off, I probably should have gotten two bags because of that. Um, but if I buy regular tortilla chips at HEB, I'm looking to spend $4, $4.50 a bag, and those are not even the good ones. So $6 to me feels like way too much sometimes. And this is the big bag though at Costco. At HEB, it'll be $6 for the small bag. So it was a good deal. I, I probably should have grabbed two of those. Oh well, I'll have to go back maybe. Um, I got the pretzel crisps, um, not ideal again as after I just talked about the different oils, but I think these are so much fun. They are thin and they are super easy to just dip on snack into dips or hummus or all sorts of things. They give you examples in the back here. And actually there is no oil in here at all. So that's good. Wheat flour, cane sugar, tapioca, um, syrup, malt extract, soda. So no oil. All right, we're doing good with our no oil on our snacks. So those are so good and I love them and you cannot buy them at a better price in Costco. Okay, I think that's it, except for the last thing here. Chewy protein bars, 10 grams of protein, gluten-free, peanut butter and semi-sweet chocolate chip. Adam eats one of these basically every day for breakfast. He's been eating bananas recently. He might start eating a banana and a bar, but I just cut the top off of this box and set it into my pantry and he just reaches in and grabs them. Compared to like the Nature Valley, they're so much cheaper. There's 42 bars in here and I think you can get like 30 bars for the same price. These were only like $10 for this whole box of protein bars. So really good. Um, I'll have to check the ingredients. I'm sure it has oil in it that we don't want, but... We're, we're just moving the, moving the right direction, one bag of chips at a time. Okay guys, well that is it for the Costco haul. I hope you have enjoyed seeing what I buy at Costco and how I stock up. We will be not be going to Costco for quite some time. Um, I may start going back more frequently just to get the better price on the sparkling water and the eggs, but the rest of the stuff will last us for quite some time. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.